making delicious um, banana ice cream here in the office and we thought we'd share. So have a look at this. It's just got one ingredient in it and that's just frozen bananas blended up and it's absolutely delicious and creamy. And if you use really ripe bananas like we did, it's so sweet and healthy and good for you. So. We've already made some for the office, but we're going to um, make some more so you can see how we did it. Let me just double check if we're live, because last time we had some technical difficulties. Just one moment. No. Not live. I can't see it. No. We were, I don't think we're live. Four people. Oh, we are live. Yay, that's fantastic. Cool. So, um, to make this beautiful banana ice cream that's vegan, um, absolutely gluten-free, um, nut-free, egg-free, all of that, soy-free. And it's really good for the kids as well. And since it's warming up, um, it's absolutely delicious. So we're going to make some with the Optimum G2.1. If you haven't um, seen our Optimum G2.1 before, it's actually a fantastic blender. It's really powerful. It's 3.8 horsepower. Um, and it's got really easy-to-use preset functions. So um, here, if you turn it on, you press on. But yeah, come have a look. So there's fruit, sorbet, grind, nut, nut milk, soup, and sauces. Or you can do it manually if you wanted to. So you can see here, we already made some earlier. And if you wanted to as well, um, get a little bit creative, you can add coconut, um, chia seeds, some dried fruit, and nuts if you wanted to. But for us, we're just going to keep it simple. Okay, so you might hear some noise, but the reason is it's a really powerful machine. Um, like I said, 3.8 horsepower, so it's not one of those little quiet ones. And what you want to do is freeze your bananas overnight. And I like to break them up for this machine. I think there's about four bananas in there. The riper the better with these ones. What I'll do is I'll pop just these in and start blending it on the sorbet function. And you'll notice that I'll stop and start because the power of this um, machine will move the, the ingredients to the sides. Um, and you, all you need to do is stir it up and do it again a couple of times. I'm going to be doing more of these if you like them. Please do comment and let us know what you want us to make. Um, we're thinking maybe making some smoothie bowls. We've already done the green smoothie. What did we do last week? That was really good. Nut butter? Nut butter, that's right. We make almond butter. So yeah, if you have something that you want us to try, definitely let us know um, in the comments below. Also, we do have another live demonstration that's happening tonight at 7 p.m. Um, Eastern Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and that is with the Optimum Thermo Cook. So, um, Elena, do you remember what uh, we're making tonight? I believe we're making Malaysian chicken curry. Oh, awesome. Cool. I'm sure you can um, adapt it to vegan if you're vegan as well. Just put tofu or different ingredients, chickpeas. 100%. Cool. All right, I'm going to get this started. So you press menu on the sorbet function. And... I'm going to press start. Cool. As mentioned, it went to the sides. And all you need to do, it's already starting to look like ice cream. Yum. Stir this baby up. If you're watching from other parts of the country, please do say hi. Let us know that you're there as well. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. Uh, and you. So there you have it, delicious 
banana ice cream just with the one ingredient. Um, it's just amazing. This one even came out better. Wow. So if you have more bananas, because we only use about three bananas in the first batch. This one was four, and look how beautiful that is. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the quick demonstration on how you make one ingredient banana ice cream. Let us know if you have any suggestions for our next live video. Thanks so much. Bye for now.